What is going on, everybody? Welcome to our first Mindful Minute exercise. Now, for you, anyone that knows me and seen me before, you know I'm definitely not just gonna talk for a minute, but I'm gonna try to make all of these about five minutes or less, just speaking about how we can use one little exercise per week of how to be mindful. And the first one this week is we're looking at equanimity. What, what does that mean? It means looking at things or holding things with balance. Because what you don't do, most likely, is you don't treat all your emotions equally. You probably look at the negative ones and you're like, get out of here. I don't like this feeling of sadness or anger or frustration or shame or guilt. You know, fill in the blank. And what you probably do is when happiness is there, you're like, stay as long as you want. Oh, this feeling of joy? Cool. Stay as long as you want. But sadness and anger? Get the heck out of here. What I want today for you to start is to start by slowly acknowledging and looking at all your emotions equally. So when you are frustrated or when you are sad or when you are angry, we want to look at it as they are just here, not permanently. They are just here for a short time. All emotions that you experience are impermanent, meaning they will move through you. They will, if you allow them to move through you. If you look at them and say, I always wake up and I'm so angry. And when I go to bed, I'm angry. And when anger's here, I get so frustrated because I have to go to work tomorrow and I'm still angry. All of that does is it makes anger an issue. What most people never do is they just go, well, I don't know why I'm happy right now. Like I feel happy. Maybe it's because of what happened yesterday. Usually when happiness is here, we just let it be here. We don't ask a thousand questions. But when like anger or frustration or anxiety is here, we look at it and go like, why do I have this? Like what's wrong with me? And the reality is, as a human, you have these roller coasters of emotions. And there's nothing wrong with having emotions. But if you're gonna shame yourself for every time that you feel anger, or you're gonna shame yourself for every time that you feel anxious or sad about something, you're causing a secondary wound. So this tip of the week is to look at your emotions equally. First, realize that they're just here, just for a moment. They're not here for the rest of your life. If you are frustrated today, be frustrated, it's okay. But treat frustration with the same awareness that you hold or treat your happiness. You know, no one ever comes into my office and says, Mike, I can't sleep because I'm so happy. And I'm having all of these issues uh, at work because I just keep thinking about how happy I was last week. Or I, I just wake up and I have this like big smile on my face, I don't know why. But if you replace that with sadness or anxiety, I hear that literally hundreds of times a week. You know, I don't know why I'm so angry. I don't know why I'm so sad. I don't know why I keep thinking about what happened two weeks ago or I'm always stuck in the future. Let's work with how to be present in this moment. And that starts with equanimity. That starts with looking at all your emotions equally. And that sounds, maybe that sounds great to you, but it's very challenging and that's why I have a job. So this week, I want you to first when happiness comes in, just say to yourself, hey, happiness, welcome. Come on in. I know that you're here for a good time. Maybe not a long time, but you're here. When anger comes, we say the same thing. Hello, anger. I noticed that you're here. I understand that we are here just for this minute or just for this moment, and that's okay. You're not trying to get anger out the door quicker than you try to get happiness out the door. We're just letting them be here. So for this week, what Ever's happening, tune right in and say to yourself, what is my experience right now? Well, I feel neutral, cool. I feel bored, that's okay. I feel angry right now. And then what I love to do is I love to say I'm experiencing anger or I'm experiencing happiness versus saying I am angry or I am happy. I like to use the word I'm experiencing it because it allows me to notice the impermanence of it. If you ever have a question, 
about this or anything moving forward, please feel free to reach out mindfulmike.ca or hit me up on Instagram. You can DM me for sure if you have any questions at, uh, at mindfulmassey, M-A-S-S-E. I look forward to seeing you all when I see you. Peace and love.